Okay, like I was saying, I don't have uh, very much time, so I'll go through this one kind of quick. Uh, this is what was given to you in the problem. Uh, iron 3 sulfate aqueous is mixed with potassium thiocyanate aqueous to give uh, iron thiocyanate 2 plus, right? So um, this is that compound that makes the red color, okay? So as you can see, the equation is not balanced, okay? You, in fact, there's no potassium atoms anywhere to be seen. There's no sulfate ions anywhere to be seen. So of course, you're going to have to have potassium sulfate in there. Okay, so how did I know it was K2, right? Because sulfate is 2 minus. That's how I figured that out, okay? The, uh, so just already we know that there has to be that, okay? So the other thing I want to teach you, well, is that, so, well, let's just balance, balance for right now, but the thing that you want to think about is on this side, there's an overall charge of zero, right? Because this compound is zero overall. This compound is zero overall. This compound is plus two, right? This compound is zero, okay? So we've got that charge discrepancy too, okay? So we've got to think about that, okay? So iron here, there's two of them, right? So we can put two there. Is everybody okay with that? So now we've got two irons, two irons, two potassiums, two potassiums, uh, two thiocyanates, two thiocyanates, three sulfates, one sulfate, right? But the overall charge of this, right, is zero. The overall charge of this is what now? 2 plus 2, right? Because it's 2 times 2, so it's plus 4, right? So what are we missing? A minus 4, right? So what would equal minus 4 that we haven't put on there yet? The two sulfates. So that's what you got to do. So again, this is a, it's easy when I step you through it, right? But it's not so obvious like that, okay? So, is everybody okay with that, right? Because two times two is negative four. Two, or two times minus two is negative four. Two times plus two is positive four. Are those aqueous? Uh, yeah, sorry, I should put aqueous. Aqueous and aqueous. All ions are always aqueous. So anyways, um, uh, as far as you guys are concerned, okay, as far as you guys are concerned, uh, so that's the molecular equation, okay? Even though everything's aqueous in it, okay? The total ionic equation is breaking up everything into its ions that breaks up into its ions. This thing doesn't break up, okay? It's a complex ion or a polyatomic ion. This is, li is like this, a polyatomic ion that doesn't break up, okay? This thing will break up. This thing will break up, this thing will break up, okay? These again are, this is a more complex problem than you would see on a test in Intro to Chemistry, okay? But let's just put, put it together, right? Because it's good for you guys to think about. So, what would be the total ionic? 2Fe, 3 plus, right? Aqueous, everybody could have gotten that, right? Plus 3, help me out guys, SO4, 2 minus aqueous plus 2K K plus aqueous plus 2SCN minus, right, aqueous goes to 2FESCN, 2, 2 plus, like that, aqueous plus 2K plus aqueous plus SO4, 2 minus aqueous plus 2SO4, 2 minus aqueous. So let's just put a 3 there. Is that all right? No. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's the same thing, adding 1SO4, 
2 minus and 2 SO4, 2 minus. Did it break? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, understand. Oh, damn. I got freaked for you. So.